Okay, good afternoon, guys. This is JD, the mobile trader, coming to you. I know you can't hear me yet, but you can hear me now. Look, uh, we're watching Tesla. I'm going to let space ride, but just watching the last really 45 minutes um, because it's supposed to be a lot of fireworks coming into the market, a lot of uh, volatility, a lot of, lot of volume is set to enter. Um, but oh, if you guys are watching on Facebook, watch out for, if you're watching on Facebook or anywhere. Hey, what's going on, Colin? I see you in the room, man. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook and you trade on Robinhood, you're trying to trade Tesla. Um, the word is just be very careful. That from from experience, it's gonna. I mean, the, the app freezes. So if you're gonna do it, try to get on the desktop. Uh, in case you're trying to, like, I'm sure people try to get a put right in here. Uh, we're coming to support right now. The sell off. I'm, I think this is a positioning play by whether it's hedge funds, whatever, whomever. Uh, we're going to blow the RSI finally for that push. Because that's for, for Tesla to really run, Tesla has to bury itself below the RSI. A lot of times it buries itself twice and then goes. So this is a. Uh, we were up, up close to good handle, man. So uh, this is either uh, profit taking. This is going to be some weird stuff. Look at this, man. This is it, it's not weird, but it, it's like a like a movie right now. I'm not touching my. I, I traded a quick one earlier. I scalped in into a December twenty fourth uh, seven hundred dollar call. Ah, I wrote down the wrong thing on that Robin Hood. I mean, on, the, on my space page or whatever. Let me put this back up here real quick. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, it's a January 15th, 20 to $25 put. Because I'm short. Uh, I'm short of Virgin Galactic, guys. I can't even flip it. With the screen tied, that's all right. Well, I'm in the January 15th. $25 put. I'm sorry for that mistake, guys. So if you see that on the screen right there, uh, disregard that. I typed in the wrong thing. All right. There it is. There's a tail coming. Okay, we're buried under. We have like 32 minutes left. Hmm. Let's put the music back on. I just wanted to wanted to touch on that, guys. But actually, I mean, I'm this price action is getting me. I love it. Really in a trading range all day. You know, it kind of expanded just a little bit. I'm really expecting to see something like this. The run up and then the final, what, five, 10 is the final hour, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, give or take. That's 25 minutes into the close, a little sell off, and then just a, a chaotic push after, after hours. Because what everybody's jockeying for right now, all the funds, all the, uh, tracking funds, all the index funds that are that basically mirror or, or follow the S&P. They're going on the close. Basically, they have to go up today's close, whatever the price is, they're closing price, closing print. That's what they buy. That's what they get in at. And when it crosses, it has to, I think it has to match, you know, they have to find match orders. And there might not be enough shares to a certain price. So we'll, we're going to see, man, this is going to be something else. So I'm kind of excited to kind of get a look at how this happened. And this comes down to uh, guys, like we put it in our, our bag of tricks to remember that, oh yeah, I traded a Tesla during the S and P inclusion 
and it operated in this manner. And then, you know, uh, on November 28th, JD was like, hey, hop into uh, ARC at 108. And let's see what ARC, now ARC has kind of decoupled from it for me. It, it the, the move has happened, but it's following it right now because Tesla leads ARC. So I would expect um, that ARC play is about to, to do exactly what Tesla does too. So if you guys are looking to get into ARC or follow Tesla without, and you can't afford it, I still think the ARC, if you find some ARC options, uh, not saying get in it right now. I'm not saying this is not buy, sell, or hold. This is, uh, you know, something that I would do. I'm, I've already done it, but if it bounces above 126.85, Arc is a, um, a viable idea and you would set your stop like right below it at 126.40. So if it doesn't work out like right away, you'll know when you get out, you save your money. You, you take you take that shot, it's like a heat check. Um, said, nope, next time. Or, oh, this thing worked. Like right now, I bet Tesla is pushing this right now. Um, I'll put them both on the screen, guys. The Mamba two piece. Yeah, ARC is a play. ARKQ, I saw, I've seen some people mention that. I saw a young dude mention it on uh, YouTube uh, last night. That thing, the problem with ARKQ is that the options don't have a lot of open interest. Or they, they haven't had a lot of open interest the last uh, times I checked, but it, it is heavily weighted uh, with Tesla as well. Yeah, ARC is a play, guys. Y'all can, if you want to risk it, if you can't afford Tesla. Why are you tripping? I should get out of space and put my, put a, money where his mouth is. Let me and, and prove it to you. And prove that thing to you. Let me see, man. Let me see how much money I have in space or have I made. We break even with space. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's do it for you. Brothers, playing to the crowd. Who are you, Maximus? Are, are you not entertained? I think you said it better than that. Probably down. Oh, th let me get the three dollars and fifty cents and roll it into, roll it into. Will it be enough for a space? I mean, for um, yeah, it's gonna be enough. Let's do it. Brother, talking about put all put all your eggs in this basket, JD. Every one of them. So you left one over here. Sold at 286. Roll into ARK, A R K K S T C 286. Made $1 to make this ARK play. I call it the poor man's Tesla play, guys. All right, let's see. How much capital do I have available? 380. All right. And they only have monthly, so we're going with a call, guys. I have to. Ah, we in there. Even uh, I would rather have the 130. But since we we're making this gamble on this, one twenty six. Okay. All right, we're going along on the arc with the. I'm not even looking at the chart, guys, because this is a speculative play based off of a uh, got into 240. All right, and we split the bid. 
Delta is 20. I do not like that Delta, but just watch. Let's just watch and see how after hours goes. The January 15th, 135 call. The overall long-term chart, the daily and the monthly are, and weekly are bullish. So we can live off of that. 3,082, open interest. Volume 778, it all fits except for the Delta for me. 38 IV. And what was the underlying when I got in? I know I'm talking foreign language to y'all, to some of you guys. Most that hang with us know with Mo and I and Kylan and everybody and Mama there, P there, Mia there, Silk there. That's old school Master P, guys. All right, let's see. Let's go back to the chart. So we're in that hop out of space, just in space is probably just ready to just dump. As Tesla's dumping, space wants to, it's gonna dump too, but come on. All right, let's see, man. We're coming down to the to the nitty. Coming down to the gritty. That space, uh, guys. I was that space uh, put, man. That short play is, is so vile. It's, it's so clean. I just oh look at this look at this what something going down guys y'all have to live with it if it if it tumbles and whoops us it whoops us but it's it's this is the type of price action that's happening right now. This is just par for the course. Like the surprising candles, that's a surprise candle. And, you know, these they're jockeying for position. This thing is, uh, now Morpheus said in uh, The Matrix 3, my wife hated it, but it was like, he fights for us. Like, what the hell? Why would you put Neo through that, man? Why would you do that, Morpheus? Why would you? Anyway, the machines did it, but still, um, don't, don't go crazy. Just, uh, it's gonna be something else right here. Oh, I didn't put my email address in the, uh, in Facebook. I don't know who's watching. How they say, I don't know who needs to hear this, but uh, y'all come to the market wrap up with JD and Mo tonight. And um, we're giving out catfish dinners. And uh, if, if you're vegan like your boy, we're giving out just uh, we're giving out just some fries and and, and coleslaw with uh, no dairy. So, uh, anyway. Come on tonight, it's gonna to be a good one, guys. It's gonna be a really good one. We're gonna uh, go over, I'll probably go talk about this a little bit, but we'll also talk about the Santa Claus rally that's coming up in the market next week. Kind of have a, some stocks on the watch list. Try to make some money, guys. Make a dollar out of 15 cents, which you can do in Forex, you know, but you don't have to join like a, a a multi-level marketing group or, or uh, the network marketing group to trade Forex, you do not have to do that. You don't have to go live in that house with those, you know, unless um, you want to hang out and kick it, you know, and party and go to those little events where they say, hey, well, how much did you put on the line, brother? You know, anyway, watching this guy, just watch how it lays out. Let's just see. This is something else, man. I'm trying to keep them both on the screen to show you guys that, that 
arc is coupled right with right now is coupled right with a uh, Tesla tick for tick tick for tick and that arc the arc play only cost 240 bucks it's now now it's, it's not not in profit right now I mean yeah that's how somebody says man it, I mean you saved uh five thousand dollars but I spent forty five thousand but anyway it's just tick for tick it is uh and the main reason is that Tesla is a driver. So I would expect the cues to kind of look like this right now too. The cues are getting close to the similar, you know, but the cues are loaded with other uh, key, um, key tickers or key uh, companies that push it. But I'm gonna put ARKQ over here and if you're trading the stock, if you want to trade stock and mimic it, ARKQ probably would be what you could go with. The options aren't a good option. No pun, literally. But the, if you have a few hundred bucks, um, this might be something to consider. Ah, there's a downgrade right here. Let's see. Tesla stock. Tesla shares downgraded right before inclusion. So these mugs can downgrade it as hot stock loses massive index fund buying tailwind. Oh, that's so what? Profit taking shorting to a level to get in at an optimal price. That, that's pretty much all it is right now. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. And it's, and it's gonna, it, it hit all the guys or individuals who had their, ex, uh, had shares that expired today, December 18th. That was the, the entire reason for this last little push right here, man, is cause it's, it's gonna have a, a, a lot of people expire worthless below 650. And then after hours, it's gonna run. That, that's that's my prediction. I mean, it's not like I have a crystal ball, but that's what I feel. The majority of mine expire January 15th, 2388. Oh my goodness, I would have had a little bit more money in the in the kitty, man. Because space is really dumping. But um Let's put the spy in here. The spy should be selling off. Ah, it found its legs. That was really the trade for me too, the spy trade, but it never triggered above a certain level. Hmm. So at the peak, what were we before this dump? The high was 679. Wow. Over 40 bucks. play will be after hours guys that's just going to be and look at the spot getting some legs the spot's going to catch a, a nice tailwind uh once tesla is finally added that's just how i feel Okay, let's see the volume on the five minute. Look at this spy man over on the left side. 1.2 million over a five minute candle. 2 million over a five minute candle and selling now. Ah, those guys, they needed, they needed uh, shares basically. Um, I mean, you sell, you have that buyer 
a buyer, you have to have both sides of a transaction. Now there's shares that have been probably transferred, ready to get ready to go, man. I'm, this is my first experience with this, with something this a company this large going into the um, S and P, and the way they have maneuvered and prepared and, and all that is so. The play with um, Arc is is a good. I think it, it works. It's viable. And something like this, guys, you have to just be prepared for. Uh, I mean, a big loss because I, I mean, the ARC stock only the, I said the stock, the share or the the options contract only cost uh, two hundred and forty bucks, and not saying only in an insensitive manner, as compared to like what Tesla's running for, the same one. It's going to be like three thousand bucks, you know, twenty eight hundred dollars for that. Your return won't be as large, but your risk isn't as large either. So, and ARC is almost, is dumped down, but I think um, it's found its legs a little bit. Probably down, what, 40? Up 250. Take your little $2.50 and say, oh, JD made me some cold drink money. And you have to spell it D-R-A-N-K, cold drink money. Tesla, man, this is, some, oh, this is, they're gonna make them, guys, okay, you know how the big short was going down? The, during the process, everybody, yeah. I was, I had just started trading during the big short, during that time, I was just getting my feet wet with price action. But one of my, um, I used to go to an investment group, I think every couple of weeks they would uh, have a meeting over in Dallas. And I would go there and listen and take notes. And one of the guys was like, um, are you familiar with shorting? I was like, well, yeah, but I, he said, have you ever done it? I said, no. He said, I would, I would suggest that you familiarize yourself with shorting. I was like, really? Why would he say that? He said, it's, it's a big event about to happen in this market. It was weird because he had, he had um, his name was Kip, <laughs> K-I-P, not from uh, Napoleon Dynamite, but just really good trader had kind of assessed the market that it was at its peaks. And I guess he knew the, 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 he called the financial crisis. I didn't know it was, that's what it was at the time. But, um, and I just, I used to, why he had a show, uh, every day he would be at it on a certain time. And I started watching the banks, Bear Stearns, Lehman brothers, uh, every, everybody. And I started buying puts on, the banks during that process. And when they hit, I was, I was pulling in, you know, nice, nice chunks off of a small account. Nice, you know, 1200, 1100, 860 every morning. But I was like, wow. And people, you know, I wasn't insensitive, but the, you know, people were panicking and had no idea to how, what to do when things were like the overall market was going to the downside, realizing that you could protect your, look at spy man, spy is ready. We're going to have some act shun, dude. I just feel it. That spy, that Tesla uh, afterglow uh, video I made. I hope you guys looked at it in the, uh, in the telegram group. It's in there. I gave you the play and everything. Gave you the play. It's a nice one. It still wouldn't trigger well, yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. But okay, we we have a reversal. There we go. Here we go, guys. Look, peep this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> this sucker sold this off. They shorted it so they could get that that price close to what they want. This thing is not going to stop because it can't stop. Won't stop. Can't stop. My, my lyrics are just horrible, man. And I can't, I can't think on my feet like that. Oh, okay, nice, Char. Nice, nice.
So people waited, people panicked, and they, look at that, look at that bullish. That's the okay, bullish engulfing of all engulfings right there. Let's see what space is doing over here on the side. Yeah, space is gonna try to keep on going down. Look at that. I want you to give me a dollar. Right here, give me a, that's another dollar. For every um dollar move that Tesla does, the spy will um in correlation, it'll move um, 11 bucks or, you know, it'll move the, um, the SPY $11. That's so, that's not, not, not well, it'll move the S&P and I'm thinking SP, SPX. So I need to see that, not the SPY, the SPY, just the SPY would, it would knock it off his feet. But you see how, okay, that is a bullish engulfing guys where it has just eaten up the last how many candles are we looking at one two three four five six seven the last 35 minutes of uh, of, of sell-off now not to say it'll stay up but it, it should 35 minutes of just dumping and people sold off gave up their shares panicked or or man, you know maneuvered into a, a sale position to get into a more favorable favorable entry and the volume has picked up three million over a five minute period let's see what kind of am I? yeah volume is an unreal right now So ARC is doing a little bit. Space is trying to get a little recovery act. There you go. I like when my, my stuff just lags on me, man. It must be a crappy, crappy Delta, not crappy Delta, but the, um, that doggone, um, Anyway, let's keep this up. Oh, over five minutes, we've wiped out the last 40 minutes of uh, selling off. And space, um, think about taking a little profit, guys. I don't know, you know, and not holding into the weekend. Who knows what's going to happen? Even if it's small, and even even if when you take profit, it goes down another, you know, you leave money on the table, just just live with it because um, we don't know what's going to go down. Not the spaces in any of these indexes or anything that we're worried about, but um, pick up the spy. That's the that was the play, guys. Here I'll tell it to you now again. It was a January fifteenth, three seventy call. It was a December 31st, 370 call. These aren't buy, sell, or hold recommendations. It's your ass in that grass. It's not mine. You can't come looking for me, but I will stand by it. So I guess you can't come looking for me. So, but you're a grown person. You're a grown man. You know, I won't say grown folk, grown up, but so don't, don't come back and say, you told me because I didn't tell you to get that haircut. I didn't tell you to wear those white shoes after Labor Day. So you made that decision on your own. Anyway, I'm, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good uh, set. All right. Resistance is right up here. But I, I don't even think resistance matters. But look at the spy, guys. The spy is the new, it was. The spy is a new arc right now because space is moving from being matched with arc to driving the spy, but arc is also going to still 
catch love, but I, I just I felt that the spy was ready. It was already set up perfectly on the weekly chart, daily chart. I, didn't, I just didn't have to, uh, I didn't put my money to, to the side like I should have. All right, guys, this is this is this is called a surprise candle right here, where it's like run up. That was, all this was a surprise, all that. So up, down, big confusion. Probably just just let it ride out. Let's just see. Market wrap up tonight. Eight o'clock Eastern. Got to Google what your time zone is. Good Lord. Eastern time over there with the East Coast Carolinas, New York, Florida, Maine, New Hampshire, Pennsylvania. Then you got the Midwest with the shot That's central Dallas, Chi-Town, you know, Oklahoma City. You got West Coast, you have Pacific Standard Time. That's two hours behind central. Let's get to it. So eight o'clock Eastern, seven o'clock Central, five o'clock Pacific. And I do not know what mountain time is acting like right now because they they do their own thing. All right, guys, here we go. Got two minutes to the closing or to the bell. I'm just gonna put space on here. We know, uh, not space, but Tesla. We know Arc will follow. I just want to get a really, really clean view of this. And let me take off my um, my moving averages. Fifty eight seconds. Now, what I do like is the fact that we went below the um, the RSI, the thirty on the RSI, which a lot of times it comes back down and does a double take. So we could come right back down here and then push, you know. How many seconds? 27 seconds, guys. Dow is down 66. Uh, SPY is down 11. NASDAQ's down 35. So, and they're showing Tesla now on the, on the ticker. Showing Bitcoin. Yeah, I, I felt Bitcoin was really at it's at a limit right there. Like at 24,180 was down. Was resistance okay after the bell? Where's my ding, ding, ding? But you see how quickly this uh, candle hit? I already flashed a high of 695. It's already flashed up to seven. Already up to seven. It closed on a funny note within the options options section, but that's fine. I'll get it Monday. Or or it comes back down. This is gonna be crazy price action. I've never been on, I've never done this. Let's see what Ark is doing. And if you're on Robin Hood, guys, I feel for you. I'm sorry. I just think. I'm thinking that Robin Hood froze at some point during, there you go, come on now. And 
and they're gonna make. The, I, I mentioned uh, the big short because I was just saying, uh, "Oh, good, good, Char. Thank you, thank you for saying you're coming. Bring, bring friends, guys, if y'all want to. Whatever. That's uh, more the merrier." And I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to get a uh, tie in a sponsor to get get some free stuff, man. You know, we have a nice little. Look, we have a nice community, period. All right. Well, guys, uh, I'm going to keep watching. I'm going to keep this going. So but I'll put the music on. Not really much commentary to, to give. Then I'll get ready for the show tonight. All right, uh, let's, let's put the music on. I'll stop recording.
Okay, guys. Hey, this is JD. So, look, if you're listening on Facebook, come on through. Same link, same uh, same passcode, all the same tonight, 8 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Excuse me, 8, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. The market wrap up with JD and Mo. We have a real good show, very good show. Uh, we're going to talk about the Santa Claus rally, some stocks to pay, you know, pay attention to, maybe put on your list, do some uh, due diligence. We're going to talk about the Tesla uh, phenomenon and the ARC, which is tied to it, the poor man's ARC, Tesla play. And also I'm going to talk about the spy being coupled to Tesla with that play. So, all right, guys, it, it should be a, a really good show. Hope to see you there.